Hey, beauty bosses. How is everybody doing today? It is very wonderful to come out to all of Climb and Diamonds today, but a special shout out to Team Envision. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, Lydia. Hey, Michaela. Now, I have not even put my lip gloss on yet today. I, today I'm using the Avon True Color Lip Glow. Have y'all used this yet? This is what um, replaced the glaze wear that we used to carry. This is Light Burst. It's a very, very neutral color. I'm not a huge um, lipstick girl, and I usually go for a gloss most of the time. So let, me, let me get dolled up here for you guys. Um, I was talking to a customer just this morning about Glazeware, you know, they, they discontinued Glazeware and replaced it with this True Color Lip Glow. Um, she asked me about her color in Glazeware because she couldn't find it and was disappointed. I'm like, well, you know what? We have an even better lip, uh, lip gloss now. It has better ingredients like chia seed and rosehip oil, which is great for moisturizing. Um, so I was able to turn her negative reaction, like her disappointment in not having the glaze wear into a positive one, and she can't wait to try the new lip glow. So no matter what, always turn um, something negative into a positive, and now she has something new to try, and she's going to shop online. So yay. Well, thank you again for joining in, everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about some tips for success in the month of February. Lots of new and exciting opportunities in February. Um, the most exciting and the one you've probably heard the most about already is the high five online incentive. So give me a heart or a like if you've heard about the high five online incentive. So this incentive time frame is from February 1st, which is tomorrow, yay! through February 28th, so it's in the entire month of February. So for every five unique customer orders of $50 or more online, you will get an extra $25 cash bonus. So for every five $50 online orders that are new and unique customers, you're gonna get a $25 cash bonus. So let's just clarify, what is a unique customer. This means that it's one per customer, that she has not yet shopped in the month of February, so starting tomorrow, February 1st, so she's a new customer in the month of February, and that she has a specific um, email address and shipping address that is not yours. So this can't be you logging in to place an online order. That won't count for this specific incentive. Um, so it's a unique customer. So um, like if your best customer, Sue, shops at the beginning of February and at the end of February, she'll only count once. So it's each separate um, unique customer counts one time. Um, but this is just in addition to what you're already doing. So it's just an additional way to earn some extra bonus money for um, creating additional sales in this new venue of online. If you've never tried it before, it can be new for you. So again, um, it's unlimited. So for every five $50 orders, it's an unlimited $25 cash bonus. <coughs> Y'all forgive me. <clears throat> I am just getting over an upper respiratory infection. I feel like I've been sick all of February. I'm so excited, or all of January. I'm so excited that it's February. Whitney made a comment that there were 765 days in the month of January. <laughs> 24 February. Okay, so what's in it for the customer? So we're going to get an extra $25 cash bonus. That's always exciting. What is in it for the customer for shopping online in the month of February? So if your customer has a $50 online order, not only is she going to get free shipping, because she's going to get free shipping on a $40 order no matter what, um, but if her order is $50, she's going to get a free Love Mascara. If you have not tried the Love Mascara, it's going to blow your socks off. It's so amazing. 
It has really great ingredients. Um, if you use the acronym LOVE, it helps you remember the ingredients. So it's um, lycopene for L, O for olive oil, and the VE is for vitamin E. So those are really good nurturing ingredients for your lashes. And it has heart-shaped fibers in the um, formula that hug your lashes, giving um, the appearance of false lashes. So this is a fiber mascara, and it's only $8.99 when it's on sale, I believe. Somebody correct me, it might be $9.99. Um, but how exciting for your customer to try a fiber mascara for less than $10. Fiber mascaras, y'all, other companies that are out there are upwards of $40 to $70 for fiber mascara. So what an amazing thing for you to try and for your customers to try. So, for them to get the free Love Mascara, they need to use the code FLUTTER, F-L-U-T-T-E-R. And we um, will be sure to post the graphic for that in the comments um, for that beautiful uh, mascara that your customer can get. So lots of exciting things. Um, in addition to the high five online incentive, rapid pay has already begun. Give me an emoji comment if you have already received a rapid pay payment. Rapid pay means that two business days after the order ships to your online customer, you get paid. So you can be getting paid every day from Avon. If you have a continuous flow of online orders, you can be getting paid every day from Avon. So you think about those people that do um, extra side jobs like shipped grocery shopping or um, Uber or Lyft or Grubhub food delivering. They work over the weekend uh, as a side hustle um, and then they get paid you know, a week later. It's something additional that they can do well, now your online store can be your side hustle. It can be, in addition, something new to add to what you're already doing to service your amazing customers. Y'all, the Climbing Diamonds are top in the nation. We sold $4 million worth of Avon last year. Y'all, you're doing all the right things. So this is just something that you can add as a side hustle to your business, you can be um, promoting your online store and selling to your customers, have them place the orders online and get paid within five business days. Three orders for the, three business days for the order to ship and then two business days to get paid. So in less than a week, you can be getting paid for your efforts. That is exciting. And in addition to getting paid faster and earning extra bonus money, you're also going to get double dollars for your online sales through um, the beginning of August, through RepFest. So that means when you do have that $50 or online order, it counts as $100 towards your President's Club goal. So all good things, right? So I have a couple strategies to share with you. We know what is available. We know we know we want to try to uh, add some online sales into what we're already doing. Maybe convert a couple of our customers who are open to it that are already placing $40 orders. So they're gonna get it faster when they order online. But okay, so what do I do? How do I create this new online flow of orders coming in? How do I tap into um, those online sales? So a couple um, strategies I wanted to share with you. Um, the first one I want to share with you is, is kind of a, a don't. Um, online selling is not posting one thing and being done. A post one and done, I call it. You cannot post an image of the brochure and say, well, I posted it, and then expect the online orders to come flowing in because they won't. They won't. Your online presence with, with that post is, is like your yellow pages, like your, your ad, your one-time for people to, sh to see it, but it, it's not necessarily going to create this influx of online orders. So what can we do? What can we do? One thing <coughs> is sharing the brochure, right? That the brochure is not going away. Um, you still have those brochures at your um, fingertips, so still be passing those brochures out. But what about sharing the brochure digitally? What about sharing the brochure via text message 
or via um, Facebook Messenger or posting the brochure on your Facebook feed. Did you know that you can specifically send a specific link that goes directly to your brochure and your customer can just flip through the book right there on their phone? I love looking at the brochure. It, it, like the what's new, when the what's new comes in my box, it's the first thing I look at. I love it. But to have that feature on your phone for people just to flip through right on their phone, how amazing is that, right? So let's learn how to do that. Let me show you guys. So grab your phones if you're not on your phone. If, um, I'm doing this on the laptop so that I can show you guys how to do it on your phone. So I'm going to just go type in my online store to um, my phone. Now there's two different ways you can do this, and I'm going to show you kind of the long way first. Um, so my online store is yourevan.com slash emilystevens, and I'm going to go to my online store right here on my phone. And there we are, there's my online store. Um, it says you're shopping with Emily Stevens, there we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to the menu. Can you even see that, is it too bright? You're gonna go up here to the menu, you're gonna click on the menu, and you're gonna scroll down. I'm sorry, you guys can't see this very well. I'm in natural, natural light here. And then you're gonna click on brochures. So you're gonna click on brochures, and that is gonna bring you directly to the campaign for brochure right there on your phone, okay? So then your customer can use these arrows and just flip through, I mean, this is the actual brochure that they're flipping through. Isn't that great? Did you know that your website had that feature? <coughs> so how do I share it? I've got it pulled up on my phone, right? I'm, I'm right at the brochure. So now I'm going to go up to the address bar. I'm going to hold my finger down until it says copy. I'm going to click copy. Then I'm going to go to my text message because I'm going to text my book to my favorite customer, Charlene. So Charlene, watch out. You're about to receive my e-brochure. So I'm going to find Charlene in my contacts. I'm going to hold my finger down and let it go and click on paste and boom there is my e-brochure and i send it to charlene and right there it says e-brochure at avon so when they click that specific link it brings them directly to my e-brochure my online brochure so if you are brand new to online selling and your customers are brand new to online selling let's make it super simple okay so I'm gonna go through my contacts on my phone or my customer list from my web office. And I'm gonna type in the person's name in my contacts and I'm gonna say, hey girl, I'm trying something new. Let me know what you think of my new digital brochure. Or let me know what you think of my online brochure. And you text it to them. You're not going into this long thing about how Avon's going digital. You're not, you know, explaining, you know, why you're, what you're doing. You're just saying, hey, I'm trying something new. Let me know what you think of the online brochure. Or let me know when you get this. Or let, did you get this? So it prompts them to look at what you're sending them. They're going to click on it. And they'll be like, oh, there's the campaign for a book. I haven't seen it yet. And guess what? They're going to start flipping through it. So you're going to text it to your contacts and your customers list. You're going to text them the brochure. And you're just going to tell them, hey, I'm trying something new. Let me know if you get it. So what do you think I'm going to do next? Those of you that are on Team Envision know exactly what I'm going to do next because the fortune is in the follow-up. So I texted her my book. What am I going to do next? I'm going to follow up with her. So, you know, two or three business days later, hopefully she's had a chance to review that book. So let's say it's like Saturday night now. So I'm going to text her and be like, hey, Sue. Did you get the link I sent you? Or did you get a chance to look at the Campaign 5 brochure and place in my order on Sunday, what can I get you? So I'm asking for the order now. I'm asking if she got my book. I'm asking if she got a chance to look at it. Um, maybe I'm gonna say, did you check Did you check out the A box on the back? It's got the a new platinum. It's my all time favorite skincare, whatever. You're gonna introduce a couple things for her to look at. Did you see the new cellulite cream on the front? I personally just started using the stretch mark cream for those baby marks. Um, I'm loving it. I'm already seeing some results. 
So start asking her questions, start engaging with her and start building the order with her. You are the Avon representative, so you're the product authority. You are the girl that knows all the answers to her, her product questions. So um, start building that order with her over the phone and then guess what? When she tells you what she wants, great, thanks Sue. Let's go ahead to youravon.com and let's create an account for you online. So you're setting that precedence that the format for her to place that order is online. You're gonna help her set up her um, sign in with her email address and you're gonna help her create a password and you're gonna build that order for her right there online while, you sh while she's on the phone or while you're sitting there with her in person. The online order is just the method of ordering. I have not lost that connection with Sue. We're still talking on the phone. We're still texting back and forth and we're talking about what she needs and how her skin is super dry this month and how she can't wait for it to be February. <coughs> I am still building that relationship with her and um, that mutual trust with her as her Avon representative. The format of delivery is just changing. So that is one tip is to go through all of your customers um, no matter how long you've been selling, if you've been selling as long as I have, your customer list is ginormous, but I do not service all of them because I cannot drive all over Greenville dropping off brochures. And so this weekend, that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm going to pull up all of my customers in my web office and I'm gonna be sending that text message. I'm simply gonna say, I'm trying something new. Let me know if you get this. It's the new digital book. Now. The online brochure is not new. We've always had, not always, but for the past probably five years, we've had the brochure online. So it's not new, but maybe it's new to them. Maybe it's something they haven't experienced before. Let me know what you think. <coughs> Forgive me. <clears throat> okay, so that's how you're gonna get your online brochure into the hands of your customers. You're gonna text them the link. So we talked about how to go directly to your online store and click um, copy and paste once you get to that online store address. Now, a shortcut to that is if you don't wanna to have to go through your online store to find the link, and um, I will post this in the comments when we're done, but the shortcut is avon.com slash brochure question mark rep equal sign and then your e-store code, Emily Stevens. So again, that was avon.com slash brochure question mark rep equal sign Emily Stevens or your online store address. So if you type that in to a text message or a Facebook post or um, a private message, that is your online brochure. And Avon updates it for you every campaign. So there's no work involved there. You do not have to maintain your site. You do not have to change those widgets. Um, it's a beautiful layout and everything is done for you. So I'll post that in the comments so you can have that easy um, copy and paste into your text messages. Because again, online sales and online social selling is not a post one and done. You still have to put the work into it um, as an Avon rep, you still have to do the follow-up. You still have to have that customer acquisition where you're acquiring the customer and you still have to help the customer build that order. You still have to ask for the order. Online sales are not automatic and they're not magic. You still have to put um, the heart and soul of your Avon business into um, that customer's order. All right, my next thought and kind of our um, a little bit of an aha moment from yesterday from our we had a meeting some of the top leaders had a meeting with uh, a senior coach in the area we kind of discovered a new term called digital book toss so you guys have heard me talk about a book toss before how um, you gather up all of your leftover Avon books and instead of throwing them away, those are brochures that you paid for, you put a label on it, um, you put it in a plastic bag and you literally toss it in driveways as you're going down a neighborhood. It's called a book toss and it is a tried and true way that um, we have got built our customer bases. Um, that's how I built my customer base when I first started is I did book tosses. Now, 
please still continue to do that. If you have books left over, don't. I never throw a book away. I don't care how old it is. I'll put a label on the front that says, you know, contact me for a current book or for current pricing. I love a book toss. Love it. So now you can do digital book toss. Let's talk about how to do that. So I'm going to walk you through that. <clears throat> so again, we're going to go to your online store. Mine is yourevan.com slash Emily Stevens. So I'm going to type that in to my phone. Now, this only works on when you're on Wi-Fi. Um, I have an iPhone, so I'm not for sure how this works on an Android or a different device. We could maybe get some tips from someone else um, that is in the group. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bookmark my online store address. I apologize. I have not been keeping up with the comments. I need to go back and read some of some of those comments. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to bookmark my online store by going, again, I am so sorry that you're, oops, I back right there. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go here to um, bookmark my online store, and I've got my online store bookmarked up here. So once it's bookmarked and saved, and that's just for easy <coughs> access in the future. So now, to, to do my, my digital book toss, oh, and we talked about having to be on Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go to... Um, like a Panera Bread or an Atlanta Bread Company, or I'm going to go to Starbucks, yum, or I'm going to go to the library or a food court somewhere, somewhere where I know people are just kind of hanging around, but I know they're all probably on Wi-Fi. Um, maybe your mall has Wi-Fi. There's lots of public places that advertise that they have Wi-Fi. Most restaurants have Wi-Fi now. Anyway, so while I'm sitting there, I'm going to airdrop my online store to anybody that has their airdrop on. Now, they have to accept it. So yes, you're maybe you're being a little bold by sending strangers your online store, but that's what you're doing when you're doing a book toss. You're being bold and you're tossing books um, next to mailboxes or in driveways in hopes that someone is looking for an Avon rep. That's exactly what you're doing with your phone. So, okay, let's, let's get to it. So I'm going to go down to the, I don't know what this actual icon is called, but it's a little square with an arrow. Oh, goodness, you cannot see it. Okay. So you're going to use this little, you're going to press that little arrow, and then the menu comes up. And up here, it says airdrop. So anybody that you're close to that's on Wi-Fi that has their airdrop on, their phones are going to start popping up up here. So you just click on them. Click, 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 click and it's gonna send your online store to that person's phone. You're gonna get an alert on their phone that says, um, Emily Stevens is trying to share with you Emily's online Avon store. So they can either click accept or they can click deny, but you never know. You never know who is gonna be, who is looking for an Avon representative. Um, if you go out and you digital book toss for a week and you get one new customer out of it, what if you had one new customer every week? There are 52 weeks in the year. <coughs> what if you had one new customer every week for an entire year? That's 52 new customers. The average customer order, well, if they're shopping online, the average customer order is 23% higher. Um, and with spending, spending $40, um, they're going to get free shipping. So if you had 52 new customers that were spending $40 each, that would be $2,000, $2,080 in new online sales um, every week in addition to what you're already doing. So who wants a $2,000 increase in their sales just because you um, it did an airdrop for your books? Isn't that fun? I love learning new things when you learn a new tip or a trick. Um, so, yeah, you just never know. And um, I'm doing a big event next weekend. And it's at a big convention center where they have Wi-Fi. And um, we're, of course, going to have books at the table and everything. But this is something new we're going to try. Um, as people are walking around the convention center and looking at all the different booths, um, we're going to be airdropping the online store to people. And we're just going to have fun seeing how many people accept it, um, how many people come on over to the table um, as a result of us send airdropping 
um, our online stores. So that is exciting to me. Um, okay, some more tips about um, online sales and how to generate those online sales because remember, we're not going to post one and be done. That's not how online sales work. You still have to acquire the customer and build the order. Um, we talked about texting it, private messaging it, direct messaging it, and um, posting it, the, the brochure, to your um, social media platforms. And then again, um, following up. You're, even after you send those text messages, your job's not done, three or four days later, you're going to follow up with those text messages and say, did you get my brochure? Did you get a chance to look through it? What can I get you from the campaign for brochure? And then again, you're gonna be walking them through how to build the order. So what do you think is gonna happen after that person that you followed up with places an online order? Is your job done? No, your job's not done yet because what are you gonna do next? You are going to follow up with her again. You're going to say, thank you, Sue, for your online order. Did everything arrive okay? Wasn't that easy? How did you like that Avon branded tissue paper? It's adorable. Um, do you know how to use your vitamin C serum? Do you know what order in your skincare regimen to use your vitamin C serum? So you're gonna talk, talk her through how to do it. You're gonna use it after you cleanse, but before your moisturizer, because you always use the thinnest consistency to the thickest consistency product in your skincare. You've taught her something, so guess what? She's gonna come back to you because you taught her something. So we followed up, we thanked her for the order, um, we made sure everything arrived okay and that she knew how to use everything, so we're gonna acknowledge the fact that she got a free brochure in her order, in her online order. You did not have to pay for that book, yay. Um, but she's still able to flip through that physical book because it came free in her order. So what am I gonna do next after I know she got that Campaign 5 book? Hey Sue, did you get a chance to look at the Campaign 5 book yet? What are your favorites in the Campaign 5? What can I get you from Campaign 5? So again, I'm not just relying on Sue to go online on her own and place her own online order. Hopefully she's gonna get in that habit and she's gonna enjoy doing that, but I am still stepping in. I am still following up. I am still making sure she's happy with my brand. I'm still talking to her about my brand and I'm still asking her for that, that next Campaign 5 order. We got her successfully placed an order in Campaign 4 and now we're moving on to Campaign 5 and I am still following up with her. Um, yeah, so again, I like I'm all over the place here. Build, building the order, fortunes in the follow-up. <clears throat> all right, so my next topic is a little more about social selling. It's about um, being the brand. If you caught my last training video about social selling, we talked a lot about being the brand, about you yourself using the product and posting pictures of you, what you love about it, what you love about Avon, um, maybe some tutorials, um, your favorite products, maybe some makeup tips and stories about your Avon journey and your Avon career, and less about um, posting images of the book or this is um, $5.99 or just who wants some Avon, um, less of that because those, um, I liked Scott Kramer's analogy, um, that's, that's like a commercial. When you watch TV in the evening when the kids have gone to bed and you and your husband are sitting there and you're watching Netflix or something, when you watch TV, do you sit there and watch an hour's worth of just commercials? No, I'm fast forwarding the commercials or that's why we're watching Netflix is because we don't wanna watch commercials. So think about your followers the same way. Do they wanna see nonstop feed of commercials? of picture images of the brochure or you know even some of those even though Avon Social has some gorgeous content you know those images are commercials they do not want to see a news feed full of commercials they will not scroll through it they will not watch it and they will not follow you they will unfollow a bunch of commercials so I love that 80 20 rule 80 percent personal your journey your story 
um, your favorites, your tutorials, and your tips, and then 20% the sell, 20% of commercials. Um, so again, make sure your news feed is full of you. Your um, friends and followers are following you, not Avon. So be sure to keep that 80-20 rule in mind and, and just kind of remembering <coughs> when you're watching TV, I'm sorry about the cough, when you're watching TV, you do not want to sit there and watch a bunch of commercials. You want to watch your show. You want to watch your story. All right. That is about all I have about the high five. Um, I hope that you guys have great success with that. I will continue to watch um, the comments and answer as many questions as I have about the high five online incentive. I would love to hear your success stories when you are texting your contacts and your customers and messaging your Facebook friends, that new digital brochure, make it sound like something new and exciting, because it is. If you haven't used it before, it's new to you, right? And it's gonna be new to them. We wanted you to experience our new Avon digital brochure. Tell me what you think, or tell me if you got this, because that, that warrants a response, right? Tell me if you got this. Um, so share us your success stories. I would love to hear how your order sizes are growing because you are reaching out, following up, and helping your customers build the online orders. You're not relying on them to just see a post and place the online orders themselves. You are being the Avon representative. You are following up and building a relationship with each customer. All right, guys, I love you bunches, and I hope to talk with you very soon. Bye-bye.